Hello everybody, my name is Fico and this is my gaming mind. I just woke up a few minutes ago and I am just currently investigating through my Facebook feed and I kept hearing about how today is the 25th anniversary for the Game Boy. That's right everybody, the 25th anniversary of the most amazing handheld device ever created in the history of gaming and I attest to that it's what I think many of us can consider what gaming on a portable device I think it pushed it to levels that you know it was revolutionary this this thing moved mountains when it was released and it's been doing so ever since with every single improved catalog with every launch it it just it's amazing the game boy in my in my life has been an amazing experience and it goes all the way back all the way back until was I was a kid and i remember that i received this game boy as a birthday present and I remember, I think we were just, we haven't been that long living in the new house. And I remember when I got the Game Boy, I was, I was just freaking out. <laughs> it was just amazing. I was, I, I remember loading the batteries. I remember loading Tetris for the very first time. I remember just playing that thing for hours and hours hours and hours and without a care in the world and my birthday was going on and I was just gone away to a stair to my stairwell to uh, to the stairwell staircase <laughs> stairwell yeah there's a stairwell in my home no <laughs> yeah okay no no I mean the stairs I went to the stairs and I I just I started just you know, playing. I don't know that I didn't want to get away from people. I guess that I just wanted to play so much. And I think I remember I, I might have drained the batteries pretty quickly on <laughs> my first ever experience with the Game Boy. You know, you have to load up four bad boys, four double A's, and oh god, that was, that was just so fun. I drove my parents crazy asking for batteries. <laughs> But uh, that was until we started getting the rechargeable ones, which which it was pretty cool. Now, I remember so many things. I remember loading it with decals. Nintendo used to send these decals for your Game Boy. I remember loading it with an attachment. I asked for uh, an attachment for it. I don't know if you recall ever seeing it. It's this big ass peripheral that you could just it just basically wraps around the Game Boy and you open it up and there's a magnifying glass to zoom into the screen and there was also an attachment to it in that same thing that had lights and the things that would open up they were speakers so it was like a miniature uh, <laughs> it was like an enhance uh, enhancement to it and you could also attach another thing at the bottom so you could get like a sort of like a joystick and better buttons on it. I never used it for some reason I just never felt comfortable using it but I did use the attachment because the Game Boy didn't have a light on it. It had a green screen on it, it was black and white but I just it just didn't have a light so it was a poor thing to play <laughs> and uh, I Obviously, I wasn't alone. Everybody had that problem. And of course, uh, years later, we started getting the enhancements. We started getting the Game Boy Color. And that was great. We got the Super Game Boy, which I, I just loved. The, the ever-loving crap out of it. Because that thing made the Game Boy transition to the big screen. Which is this big cartridge that you can insert into the, your Super Nintendo. And then when you insert the Game Boy cartridge inside of it, you can then play Game Boy games. And you could change the background and you can change the colors. And it was so fun 
just just messing around with playing games with different color schemes and it was just it was great it was really really great and of course we go from there to the smaller ones to the Game Boy Pocket you know, they have the pure black and white then the GBA the Game Boy Advance where we start to see the the Game Boy start to take graphical bounds and then came one of my favorites the Game Boy Advance SP and that is one of my ever like ever favorite upgrades for it because that that I think just took my Game Boy loving levels higher than ever because not only could you play your GBA games which were all pretty awesome but you also you compacted them to like a clamshell design and then you get a light built into it and I used that light. <laughs> I mean, th this thing was revolutionary. I was like, wow, they actually implemented a light. This was a problem that so many owners of a Game Boy were like, when are you gonna guys, when are you guys gonna go make it backlit? Come on, guys, get on with it. Get make this thing backlit. And when it finally came into the SP, I was just uh, super happy. I was super super happy and stoked. I still have it. I still own it. It's still around my apartment. And of course, we know what happens from there. We get the, um, we get the Nintendo DS, which is pretty much, I think, the first time that it's not even really called a Game Boy. It's now called the DS, where you get uh, even better graphics. It's backlit. It's got the touch pad at the bottom, where you could actually play games with, um, you know. 3D rendered graphics in it and games that were like at N64 levels and I remember I got that also as a birthday gift and it was uh, equipped with Mario Kart and oh, just loved playing that and it was so fun and I just enjoyed just ever loving crap out of that game then and it, it, it harkered uh, harkened back to the times where I was playing it on my birthday and I never forgot that either and it was great I still also have that system as well I don't get rid of my of my Game Boys except ironically for the very very first one the very first one the one that I got on my birthday many many years ago I don't know what happened. I don't know where it went. I don't know where I put that thing. I don't know if it happened because of the move. But ever since we move, uh, I, I, I don't. I don't know. I just could never. I, I misplaced it, and I then uh, for some reason I just I looked for it everywhere, and I could not, for the love of me, find it. And <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know. It, it, it was kind of. It was kind of sad. Because I mean, I that thing, that thing, and I shared many, many memories, and I just to lose it, it, it just heartbreaking. And of course, from there, um, go through different transitions. I never got the DSi because I thought that was just kind of like a oh, it's just a bigger one. Uh, for some reason, I always end up getting the the bigger one, the smaller ones, because they always do that. Nintendo always announces the bigger one, like sometime afterwards. They never, they never just say, "Ooh, you know what? You can get the smaller one, or you can get the bigger one." So, obviously, I end up gets getting stuck with the smaller one, and that happened with the 3DS. So, the 3DS, I think, was. Probably one of the poorest handled launch consoles that they've had, and they've since gotten really, really good. They've got lots of good games on it now, but at the very beginning, I didn't th re think that I was going to be playing the uh, uh, Super Street Fighter 4 again. I didn't think that I was going to be playing that as my launch title of choice. 
And from there on, uh, the launch titles started getting better. Obviously, with the Super Mario 3D Land, the Lynx, the... I still yet to see a Metroid game, <laughs> which I kind of really do want one. Like, seriously, come on, guys. Um, and, of course, all leading up to the summer release of Super Smash Bros. first for the 3DS. And the 3DS, I think, was maybe the first ever Game Boy-ish uh, rendition uh, that I actually purchased myself. I purchased it on release day. I purchased it on GameStop when I used to shop there all the time. And it was pretty awesome. I had a really awesome time with it, but of course, not as memorable because we didn't get that many games. But since then, we've gotten stuff like Fire Emblem Awakening, Bravely Default, like I said, the, the Legend of Zelda games, the fighting game renditions of the for the 3DS. It's really fun. And I've enjoyed playing the fighting games on it. I mean, playing Blaze Blue, it doesn't look as good, but playing Blaze Blue is also is always a hoot. Playing um, Street Fighter, playing DOA, it was it's it's always fun to play with it. But of course, playing the Legend of Zelda, um, the that newest game. That was just amazing. I'm still playing it because it's just such a great game. But by the bottom line of this video is, uh, is that I just wanted to share my experiences. I wanted to share how much fun I've had. And I want to share that in spite of what happen is happening right now with Nintendo. And you are seeing their decisions. And we're all sort of kind of wondering what is going to happen in the future. We've never had much issues with thinking Nintendo is having any problems with their portable gaming market. They've always had a sense of kind of just like domination. And the same goes for the 3DS. The sales have gotten up. I think that's pretty much the thing that's keep kept them just going. And now people are, are, are wondering about their future. But the Game Boy the Game Boy has been one of the things that has always kept Nintendo afloat and in my personal experience it's one of the best things Nintendo has ever done and if today is the 25th anniversary I would just love to say Nintendo thank you for creating one of the greatest gaming inventions ever to be put into our lives and I hope that your future whatever comes down later down the road I hope that you never falter in the portable gaming market because this has been something that I think consistently you guys have had successes. You've had bad experiences. The Virtual Boy is definitely not one of the good ones, <laughs> but you did uh, recover, and I think we can definitely say that you know we're we're grateful for you guys for creating the Game Boy. So thank you. Thank you very, so very much from, the, from all of our gaming hearts, and from my especially, of course. If you guys like this video, go ahead and click on the like down at the bottom and subscribe if you'd like. And if you have any opinions about what you think about the Game Boy, if you have any experiences from your childhood or recently with the 3DS, if it's your first time owning one of the portable Nintendo consoles, let me know down at the bottom. So... Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Fico and that was my gaming mind. Peace out guys.